It has been a while. Wow. Probably about a month or something. We are waiting for the next crusade for Burgundy to start. Um, I just saw that there was a, another music pack to be purchased, so... I went ahead and did that, so maybe... This one in the background is actually new. At least I can't remember hearing it before. Ah! Oof. No. No, don't make a fuss. Okay, we're, we're really cool and everything. We don't need to make a fuss about being really cool and everything. So, since it has been a quite quite a while since last I uh, got around to play and record, due to many vacation days and everything being between, we're looking at quite a few upgrades. And... Uh, Many, many holdings. All the castle towns are being pushed to the next level. And there we go. Deus Vult has been declared. And armies all across Europe are being raised to fight the infidels. And so shall we. So shall we. Right. We're gonna... CTR left click onto our holdings to see where we can raise which troops. So here we will raise our Italian troops, but yeah, that's okay. Ah yes, okay. Um ooh, lovely. Our armies now stand poised to take part in the crusade for the kingdom of Burgundy. Deus Vult and Emperor Fergal the Confessor gains the trade crusader. Which is fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. And so we shall lead personally. Oh, we have the greatest soldier ever to live on our side, and our son shall take the flank to our left. Let us raise more armies, more troops to fight. We shall raise our B -b -b Aquitanian troops here. We shall have one leader. Yes, that's quite enough. They don't need more than that. We shall raise... What else shall we raise? Everyone on the continent shall be raised. That is a certainty. So here we go. Let's attack. Is this... Probably also at war with us. But that's fine. We raised these troops. These are not ours to raise. So there's only really the French left to be bothered. Kingdom of Sasana. They're not actually the French, but... Close enough. Oh, no, 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 no. Do we want to walk like that? Yeah, that's going to be fine. Right. Any more troops we can raise on the continent? I don't... Ah, there. There's a little bit. A whole 1,000. Nothing to scoff at. These things take every soul we can find to fight the infidels. This is not ours. This is already raised. And so is Italy. We have something here? No. So. Ah. Look here at this. On to the islands we go. And we shall. I think we've raised these guys. Do? Yeah. So. Let's just go here and make it a little bit easier for us. 50,000 already raised, so there's another 20,000 to be raised. And we'll raise them all indeed. We will raise none of our own, though. So let's see what we got on the island. Okay. So all the Irish troops shall defend the homeland as befits them. And how many ships do we have here? Five. That's not really enough. Do we have some here? Yes. That's quite a few more. Transport these troops. 
And I think that's all the ships. M. Everyone else shall be put on boats and shipped off to war. Actually, these are just going to go fight here. Our own holding troops will, as is custom, stay behind and uh, not fight for anything in particular. Are oh, there's more? A couple of dozen. Let's send them in here too. And let us continue. Oh, there's another 800 I forgot about. These can go help here. Let's get them down to the coast there. All right. People are moving. Things are happening. This should be over quick. We have a little bit of attrition here, but our troops are moving out from each other. Very good. We have won this siege. So let's put this larger army... in here these can continue going their way oh look who I accidentally found there trying to get into our country illegal immigrants is what they are I wonder where... I know, the illegal immigrants defeated our valiant troops. Oh, fine then. Let's go crush the illegal immigrants. Nah, we're not moving our troops here. They, they are there to protect our kingdom. And so they shall. Right, this is nothing to attack, I just realized. So... Let's send them somewhere... A little bit more sensible up here. They don't really have all that great of a standing here. Okay, she's my beneficiary. And yeah, we will be a self-serving crusader, definitely. I mean, this is all within my realm. To be sure. Victory after victory for the crusaders. Let's send those sh... Oh, you know what? Those guys can serve the defense as well. No need to send them to die on the continent. Okay, there's nothing to be taken here anymore, so we'll put over to here. Group these guys. Move our main army down here. So they don't die of attrition up there. Oh, we can move here. Oh no, we can't. We have too many troops! Might need to... Up, 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 up. All the successes and victories. Ah, this might be a very short crusade indeed.
He's not yet managed to send any armies anywhere. As far as I can tell. At least I don't see anything. Like he's mustering. But he hasn't moved to any sort of defense that's worth mentioning, honestly. We are capturing everything. That is the target of this crusade. And there we go! Crusade is done. Victorious Crusaders. God has granted Emperor Fergal of the Holy Roman Empire victory in the crusade for Burgundy. But Shabahir of the Umayyad Empire has been beaten at every turn through the war and he has finally had to give up on his holdings in Burgundy. Emperor Fergal has granted the new lands to Burg of Burgundy to Fergal. Uh, well, basically we granted them to ourselves. The Pope has made announcements about the victory and virtues of the Crusaders as true faithful protectors of the faith. With the Muslims being pushed out of their old lands, there are certainly more conflicts to come. Praise God. Lovely. Now, of course, uh, it is time to put down our swords again. No reason for us to fight any longer. He never stood a chance. He never stood a chance. Okay. Back to checking out what is ours and what we don't want to have. These are ours. This is not ours. This belongs to itself. Okay, let's unpause real quick so all the holdings kind of settle. Right. Okay, we have too many vassals, which kind of makes sense. We'll have to give all this away. Okay, do we have another duchy maybe that we don't want? Nope. We have two du... No, there's a third one. There, this one. This duchy we don't want to have. This duchy we do not want to have. So let's check our kids. Um, 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 um. They're all kinda doing something. Maybe he has kids that. I was shocked for a moment. Shocked, I tell you. Um, club footed, which is a trait of this family. Definitely. Uh. Yeah, let's give our little grandson a duchy down there. We shall get the county of Vaud. We shall get the county of Avare. I assume is it pronounced? And we shall give him the duchy of Conch. Probably not how that's pronounced, but that's fine. Alright, and now this duchy is de jure part of the Emperor of Frangia and the Kingdom of Burgundy. So, who is the King of Burgundy? Do we even have the Kingdom of Burgundy? We do not. So we'll just transfer vassalage to him. Can I? No, because he's not the sure part of that. All right, but we have k kinda taken care of it anyway. I, uh, Kingdom of Burgundy is a thing. But who's holding it? Me? Me. I'm holding it. Okay, then. Wow! I did not notice the money we got from this. 
Uh, well, hello there. <laughs> a well-dressed merchant has requested an audience. The man presents himself as Master Mevasa Mose, a representative of the Jewish Radhenti. We are seeking to set up an official Mavaza. I don't know what that is, but... Uh... I, I really have no gold, dude. I mean, I'm poor. I'm basically a pauper. Like this. Nothing I can do. Right, okay, we're going to lose the kingdom of Burgundy to one of our sons on succession. Is he within our empire? Yeah, he is. Can I give him this vassal dude? Because... Ah, Brücken, no, that's not that. Who do you belong... God damn, you belong to the kingdom of Burgundy. I can't transfer you. How old are we? Before, do we have a doggy? I don't remember if we got a dog yet. Doesn't look like it. Man, this guy. This guy, I tell ya. Slowly scratching at a hundred thousand. Uh, we need to turn our money into more money. Quite honestly. So let's spend. Let's go frivolous. Let's buy anything we can. Let's get rid of it before it's taken from us. We are going to go on a spending spree. This is all still being upgraded, so we can't do anything there. We have other holdings, but... Who cares? Wait. What other holdings do we even have? We have this and that. Do we want this and that? Not really. But I like the duchy. <laughs> I like my home duchy. To be mine. We could give it to someone else. Another grandson, maybe. So we don't have to deal with it. Why is there so many defensive pacts going on? Like, we just want a crusade. That's totally fair and square. Can't fault me for that. Okay. Oh, what do? What to do indeed? Ah, yes. Right. These. Is being upgraded. So. This one can be upgraded. So we shall, because that's quite expensive to start. And actually, actually, we're gonna build another one. Not here though. There. Gonna build another one. And we're going to give away our holdings and build another parcel here too. That is prudent. And another castle here. Nope. Can't. We need to have a city first. Ah, alright. Let's do that. Let's have a city here. Let's take care of all things. And let's have another... Where, where, where? where did the option go? Just had it. Um... There. Okay. A uh, ruler statue. Let's let's check what's the most expensive thing that we can build. And I just saw it, I think. For eight thousand, a royal palace. Don't we already have one? Oh yeah, we already have one, so we don't need another one. Probably why this is so expensive too. Don't want the statue of a horse. Highest and prestige. That that might be fun. Ruler statue, great walls, grand fortress, great harbor. I think a great harbor would be cool for a for an Irish. 
Ah, uh, Grand University is also not the worst. Well, we have actually the money for m more than one, so let's get a Great Harbor going. Yes, please. And we're going to spend it all and have a great university as well, because that fits. Grand University. There we go, and now we are back to being poor. <laughs> All the money spent. But that's okay. Ow. We are now possessed. And there's still some levees around somewhere. Ah. Down here somewhere. Send those down. No fleet levees, so all that is fine. See, how is in our income shaping up against all the wonders we are building there, the great works? Well, quite alright. Oh! His Holiness the Pope has gifted me 100 gold in gratitude for my eradication of the heretics in Saint-Onge. <laughs> Is what I'm going to pretend that is pronounced. Speaking of heretics, where are you? Where are you, my friend? And are you even doing anything? Not really. Let's go home and take care of the island first. We need our own Saint Patrick. Right, this was an eventful episode to return very good very good burgundy is now very much under our control again and these guys let's send him some alcohol because why not that's a good ending to this very good <laughs>